so some of you may know that the Nordstrom sale ended on Sunday and I kind of went a little bit crazy so I wanted to show you guys the stuff that I got it's a pretty large haul so I'm probably gonna have to break it up into parts so this is gonna be part one and I'm just gonna show you the clothes that I got I normally do not purchase Nike I don't have anything against Nike but my style is not really sweats and stuff but I feel like lately I have to drive my daughter to school every day and having matching sets is the best way for me to be bummy but still on another level if you feel me. So I saw this and I have these leather leggings and I figured this would be cute. So I actually originally bought it in a small and I guess because of the material it's super tight. It doesn't have much stretch so I had to go back and buy a medium. I haven't tried the medium on yet. But um, I'm going to try it on, and this is what it looks like. So, And I will link everything as well. So I heard a lot of good things about these sweatpants. They are literally soft like butter. I'm not a sweatpants person, but this material feels really good. It's stretchy, and I like it. It's by the brand Zella. So I got these in black. So... Going back to Nike, I got this sweatshirt, crew neck, and I got the matching shorts here. And I said I saw in the comments that people were saying to size down because they don't like the look of the shorts. But honestly, I'm not a person who likes tight clothing, and so I bought originally had bought the small and then went back and bought the extra small because of the comments. But then I tried it on and I don't like this look fitted on me. I think it looks better loose since the top is also like very baggy. Um, so I'm going to have to return the extra small. I love the way the small looks. And with the Nordstrom sale, things keep going in and out of stock. And so originally this crew neck, I had ordered it and then they canceled it. And so I bought the next best thing, which was this hoodie. But I like hoodies that have the center pocket here. So I'm probably going to return this because one, it's slightly off as far as the color goes with the shorts and then two um, it doesn't have the pocket and I'm kind of disappointed about the whole pocket thing so I love the black set so much that I went and also got the gray set so gray sh shorts and then with the gray crew neck here and same thing I got a small in the shorts but I got an extra small on the sh tops because this is runs very very large but I think these sets are really cute for the fall. I have to drop my daughter off at school and I don't like wearing pajamas or looking like I roll out of bed so this is a really nice thing to just throw on and still look kind of cute put together you know. I got this as well. I'm not normally a person with crew necks but I loved the peace sign and this one was trending and constantly was selling out so I'm actually surprised that it, I got it because I was really worried that I wasn't going to get it, but I like this one. This is cute. Slightly different gray, though, from the uh, sweatshirt and the uh, shorts. So I got this black and beige sweater by Billy Bong, and I think this was selling out the most because it was really pushed by influencers, and a lot of them recommended these black jeans with a little bit of the ripped knee and so I like the look all together and there was a pair of shoes that I think makes this whole outfit tied together so I, these are cute this top shop shirt is probably one of my most favorite looks because of how it fits I love clothes that are flattering to your body without being too revealing or too tight and this shirt was so cute it kept selling out but I'm glad I got mine because I'm very big on big arms and frills and anything that's kind of like statement piece, especially with my tops. So this is a cute, plain yet not plain shirt. Excuse my croggy voice. I'm sick, but I still wanted to do this video. So I also got this shirt that is a statement piece. This was not a part of the sale, but it was like $19. And I think this is really good under blazers just to wear with throwing some with some jeans and a nice belt. I feel like this statement piece is going to be very helpful for the fall. I have these jeans by Baxter. They were constantly selling out and I bought it in two sizes and they kept canceling it because I didn't know what's, which size to order. Um, 
but I like them a lot. They kind of are fitted at the thigh and then they flare out a little bit. These are perfect mom jeans and I guess they fit in with the trend of no longer having skinny jeans. So these are really cute with a mule or some heels and I like this one. So this is by far my favorite purchase. It is by Good American and I bought this six times and it kept getting canceled. So that's just to show you how much I love this jumpsuit. I'm going to insert a picture for these things so you kind of know what it looks like. But my favorite influencer posted it with these sandals on and I thought it was so cute. And I was like, oh my gosh, I have to have that for the fall. I got the size one, but... I need to lose weight because the pudge in my stomach, like, it fits, but I don't like seeing the outprint of my, the imprint outprint of my belly. So it's not too, too noticeable because it's right where the belt ties, but this was my sign that I need to work out like I keep saying I will, so. I got this dress from Good American as well. This one fits my body so well and I guess because it's black and the material is thick it sucks you in a little bit and it's very 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 flattering I highly recommend this shirt it this dress it has um, cleavage a nice slit at the bottom but it's still very modest and classy and chic and I bought a pair of black boots to go with it and this is 10 out of 10 10 out of 10 for sure I got these pants that I saw one of my favorite influencers wearing, but it doesn't look as great on me. And like I said, going back to the stomach imprint, uh, it was visible and I don't know if that affected my feelings or not. So I'm, I have to try these on again to see if that's going to make the cut. I got this dress and I accidentally purchased a large and it's still out of stock. And I'm really hoping that it comes back into stock. This is from Treasure and Bond, and the reason why this dress is so cute is because there's like a little slit in the back. And this is a large, so that's why the hole is kind of gaping a lot. I needed a small or a medium, and it goes pretty long. It is sleeveless. It's ribbed, but because the material is pretty thick and stretchy, it kind of sucks you in a little bit. And I think it's a really cute just throw on some sandals and run out the door. So I'm hoping that this one gets back in stock and that I could, sometimes with Nordstrom, like if after the sale is over, they'll let you um, see if you can get something for the same price, like price match it. And I guess I just ordered the wrong size. So that's sad and I'm hoping this Treasure and Bond dress does restock. So I got this dress from Waif and it's a very interesting dress. As you can tell, that's teeny, teeny, tiny. It is a rib material. It's stretches a lot um, but it's a very interesting dress because it breaks into two parts so you could wear it just like this or you can throw this on top of it and then just have your cleavage peeking out and a little bit of your back peeking out it's a nice beige color it is thicker than the treasure and bond dress but it's not as soft so I have to try this on and see. When I initially purchased it, I didn't realize that it was two parts to the dress. So I have to see if it looks good on my mommy tummy or not. So my favorite influencer, Emily Gemma, was wearing this khaki shorts and this khaki sweatsuit in the airport with the new Louis Vuitton sandals. And I was like, oh my gosh, that is such a cute like outfit to throw on for travel picking up my kids like it's so soft it's so thick it's so well made I haven't tried it on yet but there's like a fleece on the inside I will let you know how I like it um, but so far it's a 10 out of 10 and I think it's super cute and will keep you warm and still look very trendy so this shirt is by Waif it is just like a plain long sleeve top with the tie at the bottom and then there's padded shoulders this shirt was also very popular. I bought it, it sold out so many times, canceled my order. So I loved it so much, I wanted to get it in any color at that point. So I ended up getting it in white, but I'm gonna return the white. I really only settled for the light white because the tan went out of stock. So then I was last minute able to get the tan, and I love the tan. So I'm gonna keep the tan and return the white because me and white, 
don't agree. I don't know if you can see that, but me and white, I don't know, I just can't keep white clean, but I love it because it's clean and crisp and classy. But this material gives me a vibe that it will stain easily, so I don't want to keep it. I think I'm just going to roll with this one. Lastly, I got this blazer, and once I tried it on, it's a no for me, so it's houndstooth, but just, it's not worth the price, and it's thin, and it's a no for me, so I'm going to take this back and just let it go. So lastly, for clothes items, I got socks. One is from Nordstrom, and one is by Barefoot Dreams, and to be honest, I'm way more a fan of the Nordstrom socks. They're so much softer. The material is amazing. Like, I cannot wait to wear this in the winter. And these were more pricey. And I just feel like this is, after a couple washes, is going to be destroyed. But this, oh my gosh, this one feels like heaven in a sock. I don't even know how to explain it. So, highly recommend these socks. Like, absolutely amazing. I would even buy them full price. So that is it for clothing. Moving on to other items. The Spare for Dreams came out with the floral print to their regular um, like cheetah print blanket. And I loved it. But the reviews were saying that they didn't like the print. It came in three colors. And I thought I purchased it one of each color. But I actually bought this color twice. So I'm going to keep one for my daughter and then return the other one. And it's kind of good that I didn't buy the other one because I heard the pink floral print. It didn't look like floral. It just looked very messy and sloppy and you couldn't really see what was going on. But this color, I love this color. I also got it. I also got it in the gray, but I, I don't like this one. So I'm going to return it. And instead of getting this one, I went and got one of the classic ones because they came out with pillows this year. And I got the two colors that match the, the pillows. So this is the cream and stone one and it came with not came with but i bought this pillow to match and then i bought the other color this one right here this is the linen and graphite option so the blanket is double-sided so one print it's the dark with the light dots and then the vice versa so the pillow is showing the other side representing the other side of the blanket but I thought this was such a cute addition to have on the couch for a movie night. And when guests come over, they have something really soft and comfortable to have fun with.